For hospitals, the work is only getting harder. State health officials expected 52% of hospitals to experience staff shortages within the next week. Now a group representing more than 700 medical professionals in our state is asking for the governor's help. Here's Denver 7's Patrick Perez. Right now, I think we're in a very difficult time. Emergency room doctor Remnik Daliwal is speaking to us from home as he awaits results from a COVID-19 test. He is one of many hospital workers impacted by the rapid spread of the Omicron variant. We're seeing more patients than we um, have been for pretty much the whole COVID uh, pandemic. And at the same time, we're also short staff with nurses. Knowing it's only going to get worse before it gets better, his group, the Colorado chapter of the American College of Emergency Physicians, met with the governor's office last week. This letter details the group's request from increasing access to rapid testing to bringing in nurses from FEMA or the National Guard. Our healthcare system is is in a strained point and, and it's not going to change in the near future. More patients and not enough nurses due to illness, leaving the profession or seeking better paying opportunities as travel nurses is taking a toll on the system and may affect the care patients receive. You end up seeing patients in, in non um, normal settings, which would be triage or the waiting room. A little more than a week ago, some of UC Health's emergency departments began screening patients as a way of determining who needs immediate help and who can come back some other time. We are certainly experiencing a supply and demand mismatch, which is the definition of a crisis. UC Health Chief Innovation Officer Dr. Richard Zane says this temporary change makes room to take care of the most sick. A twisted ankle or a sprained thumb um, or a rash. Those are things that very predictably do not require emergent care. They may require urgent care or primary care, but not emergent care. Dr. Dolly Wall says he hasn't heard from the governor's office after last week's meeting, but regardless of the situation, he wants to make sure people continue to seek the care they need. If you have a, a life-threatening medical issue or an issue that you're concerned about, um, you know, we are here for you at the emergency department. Even if it's not as staffed or running as it always has. Patrick Perez, Denver 7.